He was real mad. Why is his ping so high? That's not normal. <clears throat> yeah, it was fun. Doubt was there as well. We donated some. I asked her if she knew who Lord Doubt was, and she said no. So that was very fun. I enjoyed that a lot. Naturally. Actually not Italian but alright. Much love from Amsterdam. Coming for you in Stockholm, smile less than three. Lazy Italian, coming for you in Stockholm? What do you mean? Coming for me in Stockholm? Oh! Right, I get it. Well, that's gonna be interesting. I do think we'll still beat Amster or I Ajax, I guess. I should call him that. Thanks a lot, Lazy Italian, for the two months. And yeah, good luck in the final. Stockholm. Uh, he's Mongols. By Love the way. from Germany. B pair IST. Der best less than three. Piper is der best. Thanks a lot, Coxinator, for the four months as well. Love from Germany. Danke, danke, Sean. Danke, danke. Das ist gut. Sehr gut. Ich liebe dich. Du bist. Uh, yeah, yeah, du bist. Du hast. Du hast mich. Uh, Geschmelz. 20. Subscribe, subscribe for five months in a row. Thanks a lot, Geschmelz. Thanks for sticking on, on, on this train. Staying on, I mean. Hope you enjoy. Appreciate it. So, what do we want to play, what we want to play here? Naturally, men at arms are appealing, but Mongols is one of the civs that deal very well with men at arms because they can go up super quick and get scouts and feudal age scouts. What? Did I not shoot you twice? These boars keep debating me. Okay, I didn't shoot him twice. Never mind. My bad. Exactly 50 food. It's perfect. Who is green? It's uh, Hera, is his name. I thought he quit AOC after I played him last time. Guess not. See what's up with that. And Vel promised he would leave AOC if I man pulled off that um, capture the relic strategy, and I did, and he didn't leave. So these ki new kids around the block are just liars, not men of the words. He's not even replying. Ay, ay, ay. Feels bad, man. Oh, there we go. Oh yes, everyone is Norway's national the national day of Norway. Wish us happy birthday or happy or yeah happy birthday to all Norwegians out there. Happy celebrations. Have a good time. <clears throat> oh, where are you going, sheep? I never sent you there. Guess we're doing men at arms into spears, maybe something like that. He's probably going scouts. He likes scouts. The hunt player. When are you gonna ask Naomi on a date? Dude, dude, I'm 
I'm the viper, man. I don't ask girls for dates. It's the other way around, man. Come on. Well, yeah, we were committed there. We can't go back. At least we'll trade some HP. Question should be, when is she asking me on a date, mate? That's right. He's actually... I mean, he's gonna win the fight, but he's losing so much HP on a scout that he would have a big advantage with already. I mean, anyway, I don't think that's a good trade for him. Is up him? No, it's not late yet. It's potentially late soon. <laughs> Viper arrogant emo there. <laughs> yeah. MBL has an. What's M Can someone put MBL's MBL arrogant emo up? I want to see what it looks like. It's actually not too fast of an uptime, so I'm not sure if he's actually going scouts. It might be archers. Something like that. I would like to see MBL's Arrogant emote, if anyone has it. Oh, is it just with glasses? Why is that Arrogant, though? Long time listener, first time subscriber. Uh, Shaun Gibbo, thanks a lot for the new sub. Long time listener, first subscriber. Awesome, man. Welcome, welcome. Hope you enjoy your stay. Appreciate it, sir. So, I wanna send this forward. I think he might be going archers. I'm gonna put one spear out here first. That's exposed. I'm gonna idle our TC now until we get enough for men arms. This is actually exposed as well. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I have a feeling he went archers or something, since he's not showing his, his scouts at all. Could just be waiting for me as well to attack or something, I don't know. Yeah, he went archers probably. Weird how he engaged this. Your map's not bad. No, it's pretty, pretty solid. Pretty solid map. No doubt about that. We gotta get a few skirms and, and blacksmith up, pretty much. Uh, I think I don't know where his archer is gonna come from. Even this spare in case he goes left, but it seems like he's coming on the right. So I guess we gotta stay here. Oh wait, he just went there. He has fletching though, which is a little bit scary. But he can't really properly engage, he will just have to try and micro since we don't know fletching. As soon as we have fletching, he can't really engage anymore. He's being very aggressive though with his archers. I mean, he could do just do this and run for wheels, I guess. Ah, uh, we don't have armor yet. If we had armor there, I would have taken that fight. Now we have armor. Uh, 
Let's see, we have pretty solid food eco now. I think we'll slowly switch into archers as well. Might add scouts behind this. I don't know how, how confident he feels against skirms. Not sure what he's doing here. Hello? Probably don't want to go there. I have a feeling he's gonna add scouts behind this because he's gonna think I'm going full skirms just to counter him. And that's why we need to switch into archers ASAP. Got him, wolf. Ah! Let's house wall this part up. Where's your scouts, mate? We're waiting. There's a stable at least. Maybe it's up. Don't think so, but could be. Yo, be pair. Yo, chill, chill, Thanks a lot for the sub, mate. Well, he could be up, but I don't think so. Oh, he was missing two of his sheep there. Wait, is he trapped? I think he's trapped. <laughs> oh, that's a little bit funny. <laughs> he's trapped. It was bad, man, I guess. <laughs> now those scouts are a little bit wasted. I mean, I'm not relying on these skirms anymore. They've done their... They've served their, served their purpose, pretty much. So even if I lose them now, it doesn't really matter to me. Just wasting, waiting for castellation. and... Crossbows. I could run them out. But I wanna kinda see how many scouts he actually added. I'm just gonna let them die. Maybe go grab a villager or it. We only make one scout. He has armor. Okay, that's good. Let's see if we can get more. One more. There's bloodlines as well now. And another one, these skirms are being allowed to do way too much damage. Get him! No! Forgot about this girl. We have a little bit of an exposed base though, we could like do wall like this, I guess. That's plus one. Kill them villagers. We can't leave our base since we're ex kind of exposed. We need to stay here. Good wall off this though. Doesn't really make sense to keep it open. It's trying to split up. Oh, 
Oh no, I misclicked all my bills. Well, happens. Sending everything back. Oh, not. I want her. There we go. Wonder if he's adding siege. That's a potential threat for us. Well, chop over open air now. I want to town center on this hill just so we have somewhere to escape. Four months. D buzz. There's a lot. Wait one sec. Let me just get this early stuff here out of the way. Uh, Gandalf Uviti. Thanks for the four months. Buzz. Wait, was that actually Buzz? As like in Buzz the clan? Oh. Well, that's what you get for looking away, I guess. See, uh, well, Gandalf VT, there you go. That's all because of you, thanks. Uh, well, it, it kind of is at the same time, but I, I don't want to blame you. It's my own fault. But yeah, that... Uh, <clears throat> Could have gone better, not gonna lie. We have an uphill battle. Uphill. Less than 12 months. Battle to climb now, I'm trying to say. Reveal that we're going pikes, but I mean, that's fine. Try not to die while reading this, Kappa. Try not to die while what? Oh, why is this guy here? First time sub. Hashtag clearly. Hashtag clearly, it says. Hang on. Alright, survive the worst part. Um Well let me let me let me make sure I'm safe before I before I'm, I mean run into another mangonel here first. Uh, we have uh, Baba the Conqueror, thanks a lot for uh, two months. Uh, Bluted, thanks a lot for three months. And also Wibbly Wibbly, thanks a lot for, for the new sub there. Appreciate you guys, welcome and enjoy, hopefully. He has a really nice map though for his stone. All his stones are in the back. Kind of. He's actually mixing in his own crossbows for some reason. Oh, 
Oh yeah, 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 I walked into it. I'm not sure how his economy is. I'm not sure if I'm ahead or behind here. But I did a misclick there with my my crossbow, so we walked straight into his units. All our go extra goals are so forward and so exposed. There's <sighs> only one thing. Oh, fuck. We need map control. This game. If we don't have map control, we're dead. It's just camping the hill. It's a problem. Time to get up here. Too sure about this. What? Oh, I think my units walked a little bit awkwarder there. That doesn't help in any way or form. Oop, that doesn't work. Is your spam filter on? Question. No. No. I found where to skip it. Whew. It, it it's not on when one was on ring. But I know how to stop it now. So good luck. Well, that forward didn't work out like we wanted it to. I think we can all agree to that. <clears throat> so what do we do now? Okay. Where do we take this? Is driven away. 
So we can take it. sure about this. How good is this economy is what I'm not sure about. I mean he does have a high score but we have donated a lot of units to him. That hurts. Do I want to trap my units though? I don't think so. Surprised that he's not up yet. Take that back. Now this is a problem because we're fighting uphill here. I mean, gold villagers for that, gold and all that. Oh, 
Does not have a lead mango die. Good thing for us. Can I take down this without losing anything? Not fighting for it apparently. At least not yet. It's quite surprising. Ah damn. of Alps. Yeah, time to go back from there. I said as I sieged up my traps. Grab that relic, that would be really nice. He apparently has his relics there as well in that monastery. That would be very nice to grab. Not sure why we're winning this game, is what I'm trying to say here. Do you not know about this gold or what? Well, we're losing a couple of bills unnecessarily. We're not really dominating this fight here either. Not doing the best job right now. We need to get our economy up running again. Losing too many wheels and stuff. I'm just kind of walking all units into into our de their death. Not played well the last few minutes here. Yeah, 
At all. Sitting on our cast in the castle though, that's not great for him either. Yeah, we're gonna need Barrett or two here. Yeah, not good. We have wasted all our population pretty much for nothing. Just bad fights. Silly moves, silly moves. Very, very unnecessary. Now we're suddenly not in a good spot anymore. Gotta pray that he doesn't have that many many Mengrai. Lose this hill again, but as long as we fall back and just gotta get our economy stable again. Pretty much that's like the biggest problem here. Population is climbing again though, so that's good. Another potential issue, siege rams, we don't really have the best tools to deal with siege rams. Uh, we're at a decent population, so that makes me a little bit more optimistic again. Still, we threw away a very good position for no reason at all, pretty much. See, I don't think he has many castles left. Because he don't, he barely has have Mangudai, right? He's used all the market. Getting quite a bit of kills. Here. Ah, sloppy army control again. Oh, there's another relic there, even. That he hasn't taken. You gotta be careful there. I can't really. The siege rams are so good against these. my army composition. But be careful that I pay attention whenever he fights with siege ram. Oh, we got a castle there. Interesting spot for a castle. Not sure what 
steps to make here. Oh, we don't have chemistry. It's not ideal. Again, sudden drop in population. Never a good sign. And he's building up Mangudai count. Also not ideal for our case. Sniped at castle, that would be really good for us. Don't want to spend gold on that. We could potentially get three relics here, actually. That's not good for us either. get control of that gold. That would be very nice. Well, he has a relic there. Let's try and grab it. Do I want it though? I don't think I want Onager. Because Onager is always good, but... I think we can do without. He okay, left with those Mangudai now, so he's probably coming this way. Yeah, I can't get let me have this relic pretty much. Got a couple, not too bad. Well, we got the relic pretty far as well. It's very nice. I think we got a cast up here without him noticing. That'll be lovely. Oh, another relic there. We'll get it up, and then that should secure us the third relic. Yeah, we should get this relic. Now this gold still up for combat. This gold as well, actually, in the middle. This relic also, if we could sneak that, that would be amazing. Not sure if we'll be able to though. And we sniped a lot of his Mengudai, so I'm feeling good right now about this game. I think he doesn't have castles as well. Maybe he has castles. Yeah, he has one castle at least. Pour some units back for him.
I mean, it's still open here. Force his whole army back. Consider that a fairly good success. Let's see if we can snipe something today. We're getting a couple. Every mango I trade right now, I think, is good for us. Every dead mango for him, pretty much. Let's. Uh... I don't want to prepare a big push just on the front now. I feel like we're kind of in map control. I've got the map controls while controlling most fronts. Trading with helps. It's like I don't think any any of us can finish the other very quickly, so we're just stuck in this forever maneuvering kind of game. It's gold. I can never let him have though. Like first priority at all, all times. Need to run like this to avoid this castle. Is he trying to make a push? Yes, he is. Okay, we're doing a really bad job producing now. We might lose this castle because of that, but let's try and grab as many Mingurai with us as we can. Didn't have to lose that castle, but it's not the end of the world. Still, we lost some Mangadai, and I consider that worth it for us. Now, if only we could get rid of his last castle. I think that's his last castle. Not sure. But I think so. See if we can take some of that gold without him noticing. Seems like we're having success with that so- oh, wait. I spoke too soon. Well, let's push on the hill then. Snipe Mengurai. Might lose this fight quite convincingly, but snipe as many Mengurai as we can as usual. I don't mind losing helps and skirms.
I'd like to make a siege now so we can try and grab his relic over there. It's turning into a pretty long game, given how, I mean, if you think about how, it's, how it all started. We titanic our whole army in that... Mango nail shot. A lot of shit's gone down. I don't mind this trade either. One mango die here, one mango die there. Oh, damn. Come on, just one mango die here. Like I said, and one mango die there. Is success. Get him. Get him. Even those trades, he's losing. Even if he loses just one Mangra here, that's really costly for him at the moment. Our wooden come is suddenly a little bit low. But he should be struggling for wood as well. I mean. Maybe not struggling exactly, but he doesn't have much wood access himself. Get some skirms over there, maybe. I still think this game will take a while until it finishes. But, I mean, this threat over here is very good for us. He can't leave it unattended. Oops. That's good for us. We could prepare like a push from this hill. I mean, we're stocking up a lot of... A lot of resources. Even this helps actually do a really good job raiding. Because he, the only way you can stop it is with Hussar. Sneaky. Okay, this is our moment. Wait, where did our monk go? Did it die? Uh, I think so. Ugh, this will take forever. I think we'll get a group of like 40 Arbalest and Halbs and then we'll try to push with that. That's gonna be a good trade for us as well. So I think what we'll do now is... Yeah. Arbalest and Rams. So get it like six rams ish for the arbalest.
And that's our attempt to end this game. Our score is behind us now because we're trading a lot of units just for... I mean, inefficient trades because I think it benefits us in the long run. Let's see. I might be wrong, you never know. This type of game is always all about just maneuvering your enemy. He grabbed both relics already. Maneuvering your enemy. And yeah. It's a maneuvering game, pretty much, what I'm trying to say. Yeah, traps as well, I guess. This is our attempt at killing him, pretty much. But then again, we're going out of helps. So I'm not sure if I want to overstay my welcome. Do I think we're going to trade well here? Snipe. Mango Day, every chance we have. A lot, of, a lot of. I don't think he, I think he's struggling to wood now. Might be wrong, but actually he has taken a lot of wood in these areas. I might be right at the same time. It's a thing. Yeah, it seems like he's switching into skirms. I think the Arbalest switch it seems like it might work out. But, I mean, we were in such a bad spot in early game, after all those losses. This must be quite tilting for him to lose this. He's clever now, he makes a mango now. Because I'm kind of being forced into positions here. Magnum could be a good choice from him here. Oh, it was actually a bad fight for us all of a sudden. I mean, Mango Dai. Well, we lost all our... <sighs> well, back to this. Making units again. is new. Thought that would end him, but I guess just skirms and just messing units in general was enough. Wood is gonna be the primary resource here. So 
So control in the center here is gonna be really important. That hurts. Send everything up. Hope for the best. There's no wood to raid here, so that's not gonna be. Oh, that's gonna be really good for us, actually. Everything to the middle. Let's go. After watching for like five months, I remember I have Amazon Prime. Val, here you go. Thank you, Mr. Further. I can't read anything. Here. I'll show what it says. This is a good push. Very good push, actually. Don't think he can come back from this. He should be out of wood. I mean, we have done a bad job. We should have made barracks ranges all the way up here now. But we haven't. <laughs> I can't even playing this in sloppy mode. Just like. Yeah, he's out of wood. I mean, he has this, but that's not enough. That must be quite tilting for him, because he was in such a good spot early game. We were so behind. We wasted all our crossbows, hit the first mangonel. And then we got. We tried to go for a forward castle, that failed. And yeah, we got pressured a lot. Yeah, all the wood is in the middle now. All it's hail the Viper. It was a nice game though. Tough to play though. Tough to make. Tough to make the right calls. It's all about making the right choices here. I think we made a good call by trying to snipe the Mangrai all, all the times. He never got to like the forty Mangrai count. Well, if he got up to like forty Mangrai, then yeah. Did you read what he wrote? He said GG, well played. Wait, oh, don't make me quit AOC twice in a row, man. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. Did not catch that. <laughs> ay ay ay. That hurts. How many builds should one try to maintain with a 200 population? Uh, it all depends. In a team game, if you have trade, you don't need more than like 80, 80 90 builds, because then you have 30 to 40 trade cards as well, 30 to 50 trade cards. But in 1v1, you usually want to have around 120, 130 builds at most times. I would say, to be able to maintain production from everything. But it's all it's all very situational, depending on how each game goes and what your civilizations are and stuff like that, so. How he quit the first time? Well, he, had, he was playing Hans, I was Goth, and he had a big, big lead. And I managed to come back, and that's when he apparently was supposed to leave, but then he came back and... Uh, Yeah, Relic Advantage was definitely in our favor. Alright, cool. Nice, GG.